All right, tonight I'm doing my box opening of my 6.5 uh, sour uh, Panetera. And uh, I just got it, I just opened it, and I kind of wanted to share some of the features of it and what I've done because what I've done with it is I have, I guess I'll start with the features. One of the things that's unique that my question was when I was first buying it was that it had a three safety switch. So when, when you have it, when you have it all the way forward, of course it's firing. The bolt action is really smooth too. I like the bolt action. I always like the, the bigger part of the handle too. Uh, so one of the things that you notice is that with the safety, it's a three switch safety. So when it's, uh, it's all the way back, you can't move it or nothing and it won't fire. Then when you put it on the second safety, you can actually still lift the bolt up and maneuver it around, take out your bullet or anything else like that. And then your third one, of course, is fire. So that's the first time I've ever seen something like that. So uh, that was my first question. I was like, why does this have three? But that's what it is. It's a little bit different. Uh, the, uh, one of the other things too is the laminated seal. It, it was pretty cool. It caught my eye right off the bat when I was looking at it. You'll also know the, the slits in it. And at first, I know I didn't really understand it at first when I was looking at guns and I was kind of getting into them more. Uh, but it's for to help to cool the barrel down. So this is a 24 inch barrel and these guns are made for long distance shooting. So, you know, when you do your rapid fire, it gives it more chance to breathe and cool down. So you'll notice that. So when you start seeing these a lot more, you're gonna notice, okay, this is to help cool the barrel down, which is another neat feature that it has on it. Then of course it has its adjustable stock to where you want it. So you, instead of messing around, trying to figure out adjusting your face or anything like that to it, uh, you can adjust it to where you want, where you're, you're gonna flee right into the scope right away. I think that's really nice. I, I, I also like the groove right here to where I, I can fit my hand. It's almost like a thumb, but it's not like a thumb hole, but it's not like somewhat, it feels, it feels similar to that. Uh, I did now have the, the Viper uh, rifle scope on it with the turrets and everything like that. And I won't go into it too much. The price of the gun uh, is $1,500 was what I paid for it. I know that was another one when I was looking on YouTube and everything else is that everybody was like, well, how much is it? Well, it's $1,500. And um, to, to the rails were like 60 bucks. I made sure to get the good rails and also the good, the, the good mounts, the Vortex too. So uh, I have with the Viper scope that's on it, it's, it's also made for long range shooting for everything else that's so pretty much set up for that. And it's $1,000 too. So one of the other unique features that it has is that it comes with your, uh, let me see if I can get this off. It comes already threaded for you. I'm gonna take forever on, on taking this off, but I just wanna show. So it comes threaded already. I think when I, the suppressor that I got for it, and I don't have the suppressor, is a high bore suppressor. And uh, that's, I had, I think I had to get a uh, adapter to it so that it would fit on there, just because of the, the, I can't remember what was going on with it. The, bore, the high bore suppressor wasn't really matching up, so I had to get, I had to get one to put on there, but it already comes threaded for you. And then if you're going to go get your gun threaded anywhere, normally around here in Washington State, it's about 150 bucks per gun to get threaded. So saved 150 bucks, I guess, on that. Have the swivel bipods on here too. I love these bipods because they're about $150, somewhere in there, 120. Uh, but I love them too because when you're when you're sitting down and then like let's say elk just goes around that tree branch or something, you can shift your gun over just like that and maneuver over with it too to make sure you get a shot. Uh, these are 27 inches. So when we measured, I sat down and we measured about how, how high it would be and 
all that other stuff. I really took my time on putting this together um, uh, to be to come up with something that I'd really like shooting on a consistent basis. Uh, I also am trying the Hornady's, and these ones are I can't remember 100, 147 grain, but I thought I'd give them a roll uh, and see if I would like to shoot these or not. And uh, this is. Uh, the first time I brought it out of the box, uh, I brought, put the scope on it, put the bipods on it. Uh, first time really even doing anything with it besides being in the, being in the uh, shop when I was buying it. I was always in there looking at it. Uh, the suppressor, I haven't got the suppressor yet because I went into and got the kiosk done. So it'll probably take me, they said three to 11 months, but I'm probably shooting for a year or so. Who knows? Maybe I might get it within the third month or something like that. But, but with the suppressor, it cost me a thousand dollars plus the two hundred dollars and the stamp it was two hundred dollars and a fifty dollars for the tax, or whatever it was. So, all together, it, came, it comes out close to four thousand dollars worth of stuff for this gun. And I took my time and made sure that this is something I wanted to do. So, and this is the type of gun I put together. Um, smooth gun made for long distance thousand dollars or thousand dollars thousand yards shooting so uh, at the, I hope this showed a little bit more into the sour 100 and um, this is the setup I have for that I'm gonna be using for my long range shooting and um, probably then when I get my suppressor in I'll go and do a video of putting it together and then shooting that so all right have a good night everybody